Hey everybody, it's Laura. I'm back home in Colorado um, and this is the first video I am filming while being back and I realized today I reorganized my sticker like there's like a cabinet next to me that has all my stickers and I reorganized and I don't know where anything is anymore because I've been gone for almost a month. So, um, what I'm going to do is I have all these spreads that I started and filmed. Um, they're all, you know, on, on this playlist on, um, my channel through these past three weeks, um, that I pre like set them up and put in the major things, but obviously the day to day, I wasn't going to know because I wasn't in, um, I wasn't where my planner was going to be. I didn't bring all my planner and stickers and all of that home with me. Um, so what I did bring was this little, um, what is this B6 size notebook? It's just a dot grid notebook, which I don't love dot grid, but like, it doesn't really matter for my purposes. And I just spent, um, a little bit of time each day and I just wrote down, like I pre put in, um, like these little date stickers that I just, I just randomly had them, some deco. And then I just labeled two days per page. I didn't do anything on the back in case I needed to um, like carry over because I was putting two days per page. Um, so just so that I had some more room. Um, but I just did that for my entire trip. I just wrote things down and then I'll kind of pick and choose um, from the things I have written here to decide what's actually going to make it into the planner. Um, so this was the spread. This was the spread that I was on like the week before I left. It was the strawberry kit from Sticker Bloom. So I finished this one up today. I literally, the I think the only thing I added was this little meal sticker and I made like a little flag here um, because on one of the blue boxes, this one, the Captain America, I cut off, it was a bildu, so I just trimmed it and I made that for Captain America. And then this sticker went the whole way and it was just a line and it said bildu. So I cut that off, made it into a flag, put the little mule um, icon and just put that in there. And then I put a don't forget sticker right here because it looked a little blank. Um, so I needed to not forget to make my maintenance request, which actually didn't get done for a few more days, but that's okay. <laughs> Um, and then I filled in what video I put up that Sunday because I left Monday um, and then I wrote in prep for road trip because this was blank also and I finished my habit tracker. So you guys essentially saw this whole spread, um, but in case I forgot to show it or anything, here it is. So again, this is Sticker Bloom. Very, very cute. And then this was my road trip kit. So this is Creating & Co. And I have all of my kits like back in cellos um, to hold everything together. And I think I have my vertical weekly kit in here. And then I think my B6 kit is, or my um, petite planner kit is in here. I'm pointing up here because that's where my planner is. Um, my other kit is in here as well. And I'll do that in a separate video, I think, um, updating that planner. I'm not exactly sure. It, I realized kind of after the fact, it's kind of silly that I did all those because that's a daily planner. Like this is memory keeping, so it makes more sense, but setting up a daily planner and then not filling it out until afterwards seems silly. So I'm not sure where I'm at with that planner, but I'm for sure going to do this one because it's a memory planner. <coughs> um, so this was Creating & Co, like I said, and then I'm not going to do any of this on camera. I just need to flip pages. Thank you guys for the love on this nautical kit. You guys are amazing. Um, and then I have my week of July 4th spread and my brother's birthday in here. Um, and again, all I've done since like you saw this video, um, was put in the date numbers. I filled out the habit tracker as well as the schedule because once I was on my YouTube, like list of videos, my, my content planner is still in my car. So I didn't get that. I haven't brought everything up yet. Um, so I just filled in the, the tracker here and then this one, same thing, filled in these two, filled in the tracker. Um, and then this was like a stay at home kit and then the summer one. So we're currently on Saturday right here. Um, no, we're on Friday. I, what day are we on? We're on Friday. <laughs> I did not order groceries. I do not have groceries being delivered today, but it's fine. It's fine. By the end of the day, I will have done that. Who knows? Um, I think I actually might try one of the like pickup services. Um, 
because I haven't done that yet. So I don't know. I haven't even showered today, so we're we're just rocking it right now. <laughs> so partway through my habit trackers and then partway through my schedule. So this is Glam Planner. This is Dutch Girls Design. This is Scribble Prints Co. And then we're starting on the one from Creating & Co. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward while I'm working. And then I will come back and um, talk about each of the weeks, like some of the highlights and things. But I feel like talking and trying to put down stickers while I'm reading through my little booklet of things that happened is too much for me right now because it's been so long since I filmed. So I will talk at the end so you could just like skip through if you want to just hear about the weeks and like see the spreads all together. But I'm going to um, set up all three before I start talking about them. So if you want to just skip towards the end, you could do that if you prefer skipping all of the like music and fast forwardness stuff. Yeah. Oh, also you guys, my nails grew so much when I was in Wisconsin, I had to cut all of them. And sorry that I, I don't know where I got these scrapes from. Um, I had to cut all of my nails because they are so strong right now. And I think it was the humidity. Like I think maybe in Colorado, my nails are too dry. So if you guys know what to do about that, let me know down below. My nails, if you guys follow me, you know my nails are like, like I love painting my nails. And I have them painted in Wisconsin. Um, but they're so strong. They're not peeling um, really at all. Like just a little bit on a few nails. That's my biggest problem is usually peeling and like really soft nails. But they feel really thick and healthy and strong. Um, I had to cut them all and... I haven't done anything different in my nail routine between here and Wisconsin except go home to Wisconsin for like almost a month. So I think it's the humidity. I think they were too dry. So let me know. Like, do I just use a moisturizer? Like, can I do that with nail polish on? I'm confused. So help a girl. Help a girl down below if you know what I should do.
you guys so that was like three hours <laughs> so I don't think I'm gonna do this for my person or my um daily petite planner I think I'm gonna do it on my own and then I'll just walk you through those spreads which actually might be up before this one so there's that because this is gonna take a long time to edit once I can like well it won't take a long time to edit it's gonna take a long time to like buffer and uh, yeah download and stuff like that it's fine it's fine <laughs> okay so this was my first week um so this was driving I left on Monday around I think like 10 o'clock in the morning um I you know took out trash and I had actually taken down some of my luggage the day before but I had to finish packing put everything um, and I wanted like an overnight set of things so that I could just take the overnight stuff into the hotel and then leave my like big suitcase in my car. Um, so I had done that kind of stuff. And then, um, yeah, I drove from Colorado to Nebraska. There was an amazing rainbow. I posted it on my Facebook. I was like driving right into it for so long. It was so pretty. Um, not on my Facebook, on my Instagram. <laughs> and then um, the next morning I went and got Starbucks because I was a little tired. Um, I should put a bow on that, like a little hollow bow. And it was graduation day, which obviously I didn't get to go to. Um, and I was so over driving. Like the first day wasn't bad at all. The second day I was so over it. Like probably four, four to five hours in to the seven hours of that day. I was just like, I just want to not be in my car anymore. I'm a fairly small car and I'm a fairly large person. Um, and then I don't have cruise control in my car. So it was like your leg had to be in the same position for so long. It was really annoying. Anyways, and then I had put family time um, because that was the first day I got to see my family. And then as predicted, I kind of had a lazy day. Um, and my bedroom faces, it must be like east, um, the bedroom I sleep in. And the sun is always like super bright. So my dad made a covering. Like um, it's like we have shades on the bottom blinds, but then there's like this arch at the top. And we've never had like a curtain on it or anything because it's like way up high. But the sun is just so bright. <laughs> and my mom had been sleeping in there because my dad had had knee surgery um, a few weeks before this. And so she was sleeping in there while my dad was in their bed like so she didn't like bump his knee and stuff um and she was like oh my god it's so bright I'm like I know I've been telling you that for five years so he made a window covering to put in there which was awesome so I got way more sleep I slept like crazy on this trip and then I did some like regular journaling some budgeting and then I had to email um Carolyn at my apartment complex I forget what for but I had to email her <laughs> um and then I slept in. I basically slept in almost every day. I kind of got on this like going to bed later and sleeping later schedule. Um, but I, I didn't really mark it most days, but I decided to mark it here just as a like, yeah, you slept in all the time. <laughs> I started reading this book called Lighthouse, The Lighthouse Stevenson's. It was a really, really good book. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, kind of technical though. Um, I edited videos because I did take my computer home with me, which was so nice to like be able to take it home and like not have to like check it on the flight and take it out during, um, you know, security screening and all that. Like I was able to take it home. No big deal. Um, I helped my mom wash dishes. I marked it here, but really I did this like every night. My mom and I did dishes together. Um, and I did take a nap, which this is all out of order, but it's fine. <laughs> um, and then my parents got me some new wiper blades. I had mentioned that because it had been raining this day when the rainbow was there, um, that I was like, oh, my wiper blades are not great because it doesn't rain a lot in Colorado. So they kind of just dry out and um, crack and stuff. And I didn't realize it because it hardly ever rains in Colorado. So my parents got me new wiper blades and my dad installed them for me and they were really nice. Um, I placed a Lexi Kylie design order because, um, she's doing like the monthlies, um, that I use in my daily petite planner. She was doing those. Um, I was reading on the patio which was still this book. Um, and then my mom had been sewing some like face masks. So I went through those with like some sizing and stuff for her. Um, and then she was going to fix one of my, she had given me one, but like, I think I needed the ear loops a little longer or something. And then I had another one that I liked, but I wanted something different about it. I forget. 
So I went through that with my mom. I did more budgeting on Saturday. And then I wrote this. I didn't write, like, in my little journaling thing, I wrote what we ate every day, but I didn't in the planner because that's too much. But um, we made Swedish yellow pea soup and lingonberry pancakes. And holy camoli, it was so, 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 so good. Um, so I wanted to mark it here. And then I was editing, and then I finished my book here, editing more on Sunday, um, and then I read the book Polite Lies. Um, I hit 900 subscribers on YouTube, which is really exciting. We had big storms. We got like over six inches of rain. I think that was this night um, or the next time you see storms in here. I don't know. It stormed so much when I was home. I was really excited. And then I worked on my power sheets, had bills due, that kind of thing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to put in this little odds and ends thing, but I did put some deco down here um, because I realized like since I didn't know what I was going to put there, I didn't need all the hearts. <laughs> so I covered up the bottom three rows with deco um, and I did that off camera. And then um, I just left three and I'll figure it out. I'll go look through my stuff again. It's obviously not really that important, but I like my planner filled out. <laughs> I will have to fill this out too, but um, I'm not doing that in this video. Okay, and then the next week, which is 4th of July week, which you guys did see me, I have the numbers wrong. I put this as the 28th, but the 28th was on the previous week, so I need to bust out um, a number five for <laughs> over here on Sunday, but that's fine. So the storms continued, so I think that was the night that we got six inches of rain. It was nuts. And then I texted my coworker, Deb, um, because she decided to, she had texted me the week before, and she had said that this week she was going to drive to New Jersey from Colorado. And I was like, oh my God, that's so much farther than Wisconsin. Plus she has two little kids, like um, a kid in diapers. And then like, I think like a five-year-old. And I was like, you are insane. So <laughs> um, I texted her to make sure, like wish her good luck and stuff. And she's already like partway there at that point. It was crazy. And then my friend Missy had surgery. And I knew within this week or the next week she was having surgery, but I didn't know when. And she texted me and she was like, well, the surgery went well. And I was like, excuse me? <laughs> so she just went through with it and never told me she was having it like that day. But yeah, that's, that's my friend. <laughs> and then I put laundry on here and grill time. I definitely wanted to mark a few of the times we grilled. And this was perfect because we had burgers and there was a little hamburger deco. And it was on the hamburger day, which was so perfect. And then we had hot dogs over here for the fourth, which again was so perfect. So I loved it. Um, and then my dad polished my car. At my last apartment building, I had underground parking and the water would drip or like snow melt would drip through the roof of it. Um, and it looked like a mineral deposit on my car. My car is black. So it looked really funny in the sunlight. So he figured out what to put on it and polished it for me because um, I didn't like know what to put on it and I didn't want to ruin the paint. So he had a lot of like different things he could choose from. So he polished it. Um, and then I did my nails. I was reading White Fragility. I texted my friend Missy to make sure she was recovering okay. And this little, um, like COVID, like FaceTime kind of thing where it says, Hey, are you okay? was perfect. And then my mom had these like garden, um, she has a little garden cart and then like she had these planks. Well, they're bigger than what my hands are holding right now, but, um, they're not, you know, they weren't too big, but she had them and she wanted them repainted because they sit on her little garden cart outside. So I started repainting them for her. We had storms again. I had bills due. Hello, July. Um, I placed a cross by Towie order because she had um, a sale and she was actually open. Um, there's so many times she's not open or like I miss a sale or whatever. So I was really excited. And then I kept painting. Um, my mom and I got groceries. And then um, I had been talking earlier about wanting like like that I didn't have a headphone jack in my phone anymore. Um, and so my parents were like, well, we have a set of Bluetooth headphones we can give you. And I was like, what? <laughs> so we dealt with that for a while because they were hooked up to their like entertainment system for my dad to watch TV without like bothering my mom. Um, so like they wouldn't hook to my phone. So that was like an hour project. It was hilarious. But um, now I have Bluetooth headphones that are hooked to my phone. This Thursday was so productive. Oh my gosh. So I washed all of my makeup brushes that I had taken with me, which is like basically all of the brushes I use regularly anyways. Um, I finished doing the painting. Obviously I had to like let things dry um, and it was multiple colors on the same board. So like you couldn't like handle them. <laughs> um, so it took like two days of painting and then this day was just touch ups. Um, and then I ordered Disney Plus again. I had gotten rid of it and now I got it back, but I didn't get Hulu this time. 
And then I wrote talk to Scram. Um, Scram is one of my friends. His name is actually Eric, but um, he had called me while I was napping. So I talked to him for quite a while, which was really, really nice. Um, and then I was reading White Fragility. Um, and then I bought tickets to a, like, I don't know, like a concert by Candlelight kind of show, I guess. Um, and they're going to be playing all Chopin um, music. And I'm really excited but I wasn't really thinking about like COVID and pandemic and stuff like that. And then I tried to get a refund because I was like, well, that was dumb. Like I shouldn't have done that. Um, and they don't offer refunds. So I was like, well, shoot. <laughs> so I guess I can hope that it gets canceled or something or rescheduled. Um, but it's not until late January. So, you know, like even if it's still like a problem, things will have been in like like practices of social distancing and cleaning and all that kind of stuff um will have been like very well explored by that point so um yeah so I bought two tickets I will probably have my friend Eileen go with me um we kind of do stuff like that a lot but if I'm dating somebody maybe I will have a date in January, but I'm not dating anyone now. So, but I bought two tickets cause I knew I wouldn't go by myself. So my friend Eileen, like, I'll just have to tell her as we get closer, like, Hey, I bought tickets for this thing. Are you available? <laughs> um, my brother's birthday. And then I finished re reading white fragility. Um, I worked on my power sheets. I started reading the book, the starless sea. And then, um, of course I watched Hamilton this day. I did leave a little space right here because I think Coffee Monsters Co. or Once More with Love, or maybe both have um, Hamilton characters, and I am going to Hamilton. Okay, so my friend Eileen bought us tickets for Hamilton. I paid her back, obviously, but um, it was supposed to be, I think, in like September or October of this year, and it got rescheduled for 2022. March of 2022. I'm like, that is so far away, but I still am going to want Hamilton um, little characters for that. So um, it'll be perfect because then I can market here. So I hadn't purchased them because I didn't need them for a while. Um, but then all of a sudden this whole Hamilton thing on Disney Plus came out. So I'm going to need Hamilton characters. So I left room for it. So whenever they can come in, I can put one on here. <laughs> Does anyone else do stuff like that? Because like that's kind of ridiculous, right? Like to leave room in your planner for a sticker you have to buy in the future. But at the same time, like it will be perfect, perfect perfection. Okay. 4th of July, I was reading. Um, if I wrote like started or finished reading, like that's the book. And then if the next day it just says reading, it's the same book. Like I'm not really a multi-book reader. Like I just like to stay on the same book. So reading there, I worked on my power sheet some more and then we had gotten our um, contracts for work. So I signed my contract this day. So I had to look that all over. We have furlough days. I'll talk about that in a budgeting video because I'm a little worried. Yeah, I'm a lot worried and it affects my channel. So um, we'll, we'll talk about that another day. Anyways, um, Sunday, I put the girls shaving because it had been a while since I had shaved my legs um, because it just had been. So <laughs> I wrote about time with the little shaving, shaving at her legs girl. And then I worked on Black Lives Matter resources, like compiling all of that um, on my Launchpad Planner video. I have included the link. It is now on my Instagram as well. Like it's just a lot, a lot of resources. I will link it down below here as well. Um, it won't probably be on every video unless you guys like want it to be. I don't know. I feel like once you have the link, you have the link. Um, but it is on the Launchpad Planner video. And then, like I said, I'll put it here. It's also in my Instagram. So yes, did that for quite a while. And then I helped my mom make pasta salad because we were trying to do a ranch pasta salad, but I'm lactose intolerant. And that's usually with like buttermilk. Um, so we were figuring that out, which was really fun. And then I finished reading The Starless Sea, which I can't believe I read that in three days because that book was huge. <laughs> and then we barbecued. We barbecued the fourth also. We had hot dogs both of these days, um, but I marked it here because I ran out of room here. But it's perfect. Hamburgers at the beginning of the week, hot dogs at the end of the week, and that's exactly what I had pre-predicted with my spread. How funny. This week is so cute. This washi looks maybe a little... A little light and a little plain. It's not plain. It's very patterned, but maybe I'll have to add a Simply Gilded washi in here. Like maybe a 15 millimeter through the middle of it would kind of draw your eye, like make it more even. 
I'll have to think about that. I didn't realize it until I'm seeing the spread like on camera because I hadn't like unfolded my planner. Um, I love it. I just feel like it needs something down here. Let me know if you guys agree. I'll wait until I get your feedback. Tell me down here. Tell me on the home kit what I should do for washi. Should I put one like at the top? Should I put one through the middle? Should I put just like an overlay on it? What should I do? Okay, um, I don't know what I'm gonna put in this box yet, but I'll figure it out because it is so cute. Um, we had storms again and we actually had a little bit of hail, which was wild. Um, I cut my mom's hair on our patio later that day. These are like, again, all out of order timing wise, but it's fine. Um, but I cut her hair. I was working on budgeting again. Um, I had a prescription um, that I needed to refill, actually two of them, and then they like got sent to Colorado, which is fine, um, but I needed to make sure that by the time I got back here that I had them, and then I wrote that I was in my feelings this day, because <laughs> I was. Um, on Tuesday, I had a long talk with my mom, and then kind of about this, <laughs> um, and then I had to call my apartment complex, and then I had a lazy day. I started reading a book called The German Girl. I watched gymnastics, which this gymnastics was from like early March. It was the American Cup. I know some of you guys that watch or that follow me are into gymnastics. So if you watch that, yeah, that it was nothing new. But it was really funny because that was around the time, like just before stuff started closing. And so like they were talking about some of the girls and like not sure how they were going to get back to their home countries and things. But it was really bizarre seeing like a stadium full of people and I don't know. It was just, it was very odd <laughs> to like watch something that happened in the past compared to where we're at now. And you know, this was July. Um, very odd. Okay. On Wednesday, I talked to my former principal, um, twice this day and was texting her and we talked on the phone and a whole bunch of stuff because our school had closed. Um, so she is, applying for new jobs and she wanted to know if I could be a reference and then I had to fill out a reference form and all this stuff. And then our school had sent us information about getting accommodations due to COVID. Um, I do have chronic lung disease with my asthma so obviously it's really important that I stay healthy um, and if I'm going back to in-person schooling that obviously makes things complicated. So um, I was reading a lot of the ADA info because I was going to have to fill out a form um, and kind of just wrapping my head around all of it. And then I wrote that it was super humid this day. The dew point was 74, which is like Amazon rainforest dew points, like disgusting. It was so gross this day. Um, so I just thought I'd mark it. And then I have a little face mask deco, but I actually did a face mask that day. So it was perfect. And then I had a little $20 bill I had to pay, um, which I don't normally pay, but like, I don't normally have that bill, but I had to pay it that day. On Thursday, I did laundry. I did laundry with my mom on Wednesday. We did, like, sheets and stuff. Um, so I helped, like, do beds and all that. But because my dad, again, had knee surgery, so he can't do that. <laughs> um, but this was, like, my own laundry, like, my clothes. So I only marked it here. And then we had a little cleaning deco, which was, again, so perfect. I cleaned my car. Um, like I said, my dad had done my wiper blades and... Um, polished that spot on the outside of my car, but I needed to vacuum my car so bad because, you know, we have winters and you have like salt and gravel and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I pulled out like all of the mats and I cleaned underneath it and I did like the inside and the outside of my windshield and my different windows that needed to be cleaned and like just dusted everything. Like my car was like perfect. It was so beautiful. It was like a brand new car. Um, and then I worked on my launch pad planner, which again, there is a video, um, on my channel about that. And then I emailed my doc about the COVID ADA stuff because you had to have a doctor's note. So I was asking her for like recommendations or advice or whatever. Cause I'm like, asthma doesn't prevent me from doing my job. So I don't know that I need like accommodations but at the same time I need to stay healthy so I need accommodations like I didn't know I was very confused so I was in a bunch of emails with her trying to figure it out and then she wrote me my letter um in case I needed or like whatever I was going to request for so it was complicated <laughs> on the 10th I had to clean the bathroom that I use at my parents house and then my brother and my niece came over which was super super exciting to see them we did like social distance barbecue on the patio outside um where we like all stayed away from each other and stuff but um she brought over like all of her slime and she was talking to us about all of the slime and wanting to have an Etsy shop and a YouTube and it was so cute oh my god I was dying um and then I did a planner session because I had gotten my Lexi um 
not Lexi, Lily and Nico, um, delivery for my PR stuff. And I showed you guys some of it on Instagram, but I did a full spread. Um, that planner is in my car right now, so I can't show you, but I will show you in a plan with me video. Oh my God. It is so cute. I love it. <laughs> um, and then I was reading district info that they had sent us about our reopening. Oh my God, you guys, it's been so much. <laughs> okay. On Saturday, my mom and I made um, ragu a la bolognese and homemade pasta from scratch, everything from scratch. Um, so I put this like very big thing because that took like basically all day. It was so long. Well, all afternoon I slept in. <laughs> and then I was looking through old photos because my mom had scanned pictures and wanted to know if I wanted to keep any of the photos. So I was looking through a bunch of albums and things. And then um, I was watching YouTube. Um, and then, oh, I can put cancel on this. Um, I didn't even realize this was on here because I did not get my glam planner for July. I had talked about that this may or may not happen and it did not happen. I um, chose not to get it because I have a lot. <laughs> I have a lot of kits. Um, and then Sunday, I slept in and again, I, I don't mark it very often, um, but because I had eaten this regula bolognese, which has a little bit of cream in it and had some like Parmesan and stuff, but I was very, very sick on Sunday um, because I'm lactose intolerant. If you guys didn't know, I do take lactate, but ugh, yeah, it was a lot. So um, I have these funny munchkins that have like like this one's tooting and then they're like on the toilet and stuff like they're just like stomach pain. Um, so I put that on here. Like I know what this means for me. Like it's awful. I'm like shivering and shaking and dying inside. So slept in. I felt sick all day. I finished reading my book, The German Girl, um, in the time when I wasn't feeling quite as bad. And then I also, um, it was actually on Saturday, but I marked it here because I ran out of room. Um, and I didn't have a lot to mark on Sunday. I placed an order for my August monthly um, because I hadn't yet. I like just really struggled to find one I liked. So I posted on Facebook and somebody had recommended theirs. And I was like, oh, I love it. So I bought it. <laughs> and then this is the week again that we're currently on. It's currently Friday. Sorry, I keep thinking it's Saturday um, because I got back Thursday night and it feels like the weekend, but it's not the weekend yet. <laughs> um, anyways. I don't know what I'm going to put down here, but um, laundry I had done Thursday, so I actually didn't do laundry this day, but I wasn't going to pull the stickers up. Like, I just, whatever, it's fine. Um, and then I put another one of those funny toilet munchkins because I still wasn't feeling great. I felt better Monday than I did Sunday, but, you know. And then I read this book called The Land of Women. I do not recommend. It was, like, softcore naughty stuff. Like, it was no good, you guys. I did not enjoy that book, but I read the whole thing. It wasn't very long. I kept like hoping it was going to get better and it just kept getting worse. Like I liked the beginning of the book and then it just got really weird. So I don't know. It was so bizarre. And then, um, I was on the Halo Beauty, um, vitamin subscription, but again, I need to like relook at my budget cause I do not think I have the money. It was like $50 a month for the two that I was ordering, like 46. Um, so I canceled it because I was just like, I just can get vitamins at the grocery store for now. Like <laughs> that's just going to have to be what it is. Even though I really liked those vitamins, I just, I couldn't spend that much on vitamins when I'm concerned about my budget for like this coming year. So yeah. And then I continue to look through old photos this day. And then our district had a board meeting about our reopening and everything. Um, and that started around six ish PM. You guys, it went until midnight or like 1230. It was six hours long. It was absurd. And they told us essentially nothing. Um, it was so many questions left at the end of it, like just ridiculous. So, and some of it has been resolved and some of it hasn't. It was just frustrating. Um, okay. The 14th, I had to pack up all of my stuff, obviously, because I was going to be leaving the next day. And then my dad taught me how to check my tire pressure on this car because it, like, I've only had this car for a little while. He taught me how to do that, and we checked my tires. Um, I started reading the book Mirror, Mirror, and then my mom and I, oh my god, we spent, like, most of the day, um, we created my will, and then we did a financial and a medical power of attorney, so I have a lot of papers that I need to get, like, notarized and signed and make copies of and all that, um, but that was a lot of that day. And then I touched up my nails, so I didn't really, like, paint them from scratch, but I had to, uh, 
touched them all up because they were chipping, which I should have just painted them from scratch because then I had like too much on and then they chipped even more, which can happen. Um, so that was annoying. <laughs> and then Wednesday, that was the day that I was going on my road trip. So I like finished packing my car and all that. And then I took off like finally leaving after my parents and I were like bawling our heads off. And then it was like thump, 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 thump when I was driving down the driveway. And I, so I turned around at the end of the driveway and drove right back up and I'm like, what was that noise? And they were like, yeah, we heard it too. Um, so my dad figured out he like jacked up my car and everything, which was very hard for him because his knee, recent surgery, all that. Um, but he, he figured that there was like rust between um, the parts of the brake because it had been sitting for so long and it's very, very humid and that can happen. Um, so he like tried some different things and like was working with the parking brake and all sorts of stuff. And he's like, I think it's going to go away. So I had to get gas anyways. So I went to a gas station like only a few minutes from my parents' house and just like checked it there. And then I drove a little further away um, because like getting to a freeway is quite a ways from my parents' house. So I dra drove even further away and it was like, if you can still hear it, maybe call home. If you can't, you know, just keep going. It should be fine because my my dad figured he knew what it was. Um, so it was fine. So I was able to just keep going. But it was like when I first took off, I was like, what is that? <laughs> um, and then I was almost run off the road. This person, like I was over here in the left lane, like gently passing, like not like a crazy person. This person started pulling over before my car was even like past them. Like I was next to their driver's side window. Like like my passenger window was probably right next to theirs. And I was like, how did you not see me? Like they didn't look at all. So they were pulling over. Thankfully there was a wide shoulder. I had all four wheels on the shoulder and they just kept coming in my lane. Like there was no acknowledgement that my car was even there. Like people were like, why didn't you honk? And like when I've told this story and I'm like, I was so scared. Like I do not know how I didn't get hit from that car. Like, thank you, my guardian angel, wherever you were, because I, I, I must have seen the movement in my passenger side mirror because I was moving over. Like, it was insane, you guys. I do not know, but that scared me so much. Um, and, like, there were cars all around and stuff, which thankfully, like, if I had gotten hit, like, there were people around. Um, but I was so scared. So then I was in back of them, and I just drove in back of them until they left um, the road because I was like, I am not passing you again. Like you are psycho. Um, so that was really scary. And then, um, I had my car insurance bill this day, but you were allowed to bump it. And I always hate <laughs> this day because it's so close to the end of my pay period. Like I get paid on the 20th and it's on the 15th. So I just bumped it to the 20th. So it'll come out of my next check, which was actually really nice. <laughs> so I don't know if that's going to screw me later, but I just, yeah, I just bumped it to the next one. And then um, I didn't re <laughs> realize, so this box goes with it too. I had tea when I left Wisconsin. I didn't leave Wisconsin until like 1 or 1.30. Um, so I was drinking tea at like 2 in the afternoon and caffeine affects me a lot in the afternoon. I was awake until 5 in the morning, you guys. 5. 5 a.m. It was bonkers. Um, so I spent four hours watching a documentary about North Korea, which was fascinating. I love North Korea. Like, not in a good way. Like, it just fascinates me because it's so horrific. Like, what is even happening? Like, I don't even understand. Um, but I just it's just really interesting to me so I watched this documentary until like four in the morning and then I was texting somebody until five in the morning it was crazy pants but then I had to check out of the hotel by 11 so I slept from like five until like eight seven thirty something like that and I was like I have to drive seven hours on no sleep like this is crazy so yeah so that's the like insomnia girl um I did drive I I managed the whole way I tried to nap at like a rest area and it was like 97 degrees so I couldn't keep my windows shut and then when I turned the windows open there were flies and mosquitoes everywhere in Nebraska like it was just so gross um and then when I got into Colorado it was super windy and super hard to control my little car um so it was just a lot it was a lot. This drive home was way worse than my drive out there. Like the drive out there, I was like, yeah, that was no big deal. I could do that all the time. Like, uh-uh, no big deal. This drive home, uh-uh, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> um, and then I put the little burger one. I went to Arby's for dinner because, um, yeah, I didn't want to cook or anything. Um, and then I think I talked about I didn't get groceries 
I still need groceries, but I didn't do that here. So it'll probably happen like here somewhere, but I'm not going to move the boxes. It's fine. I did pick up my Happy Meal um, from my box, so I had that delivered. And then I didn't do any planning yesterday, but I did plan today. So it's fine. Film today. It's fine. Um, I didn't unpack yet, but I need to. I need to get the rest of the stuff up from my car because it's still down there. Um... I brought up like all this stuff, like I told you, like I had the like overnight stuff. I brought all that up so I could function, um, but I haven't brought up the rest of it. I did sleep in today. I didn't get out of bed. Like I woke up a bunch of times, but I didn't like get out of bed until like one because I was just exhausted. My body hurt. Again, I don't have cruise control. So like my leg was in this position and then it was just a lot, you guys. Oh, I also got lost in... um a detour like a construction detour and so that was like 25 minutes of wasted time going through this stupid construction stuff a few times because I got mixed up so that was awful um anyways tidy up hasn't really happened lazy day happened filming happened <laughs> so because like I'm not gonna move this but I did put clean up here or clean it here I do need to do my floors they look really dusty and then I kind of just set up the rest of the weekend I hope to read tomorrow I need to edit and upload I need to film a plan with me I need to film a haul um so there's a lot of stuff I can do and then like I said I just filled up the boxes because I I wanted the colors to come out accurately. I should have pulled a little more pink this way, I think, um, but it's going to be fine. I didn't, I just don't have a lot of pink left. So there's that. And then I don't know what I'm using for next week. I haven't picked anything out yet, but those are the kits. And the, that is this very, very long plan with me. This is literally like four hours of footage. Um... So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my memory planner like all caught up. Obviously, these next two days I'll have to fill out. Um, but, you know, nothing, nothing exciting is going to happen that I know of. So if it does, I will try to tell you when I film next week's plan with me and fill you guys in. But really, I need groceries. I need to clean. I need to get my stuff up here and unpack and then start working on like figuring out how I can get all of these documents signed and notarized and that process. And I need to go to the bank and just stuff like that. Nothing fun. So there is that. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a different kind of video um, and not one that is often going to ever be on my channel, but you know, might happen again. <laughs> um, that is it for me. I hope you guys hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. If you're new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited to have you guys here. Thank you for watching my videos. Hope this wasn't too boring and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.